NATO agrees to follow Trump's demand. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization released a bombshell statement this week and Trump haters are going to be furious. In a statement to reporters on Wednesday, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said America's NATO allies plan to increase their defense spending by 4.3 percent this year, according to The Washington Post. The spending increase is a clear demonstration that our alliance stands united in the face of any possible aggression, he said. We have really shifted gears. The trend is up, and we intend to keep it up. U.S. News & World Report reported that Stoltenberg said the increased funds would be spent on salaries and pensions for troops and more military exercises, training, and equipment that would allow NATO forces to deploy faster and on shorter notice. It's more about high-end forces, heavier forces, and more ready forces, meaning we need forces that are fully equipped, fully manned and fully trained, he said. This news comes on the heels of a growing Russian threat in Eastern Europe and pressure from the Trump administration to push NATO members to contribute their fair share, something that is long overdue. In May, President Donald Trump criticized NATO allies for not contributing the minimum target of 2% of their respective GDPs to NATO defense spending. Trump called on all nation members to meet their financial obligations instead of continuing to rely on the United States for their own protection. To date, only six nations have met or exceeded the target 2%, the US, Estonia, Greece, Poland and Great Britain. Lithuania, Romania, and Latvia are expected to join that list next year. Stoltenberg validated Trump's concerns about a lack of defense spending and unfair burden sharing among NATO allies on Wednesday. I welcome the strong focus of President Trump on defense spending and burden sharing because it is important that we deliver, he said. European allies should invest more in defense, not only to please the United States, but they should invest more in defense because it is in their own interests. Finally, after increased pressure from Trump and growing tensions with Russia in Eastern Europe, NATO has decided to take a clear stand and push its member states to share equally in providing defense for all its allies instead of relying on the US and others to foot the bill. While the left will hate to admit it, Trump is winning again, and Stoltenberg's statement proves it. H.T. Breitbart please share this on Facebook and Twitter to show the world that Trump is winning again. What do you think NATO will do under Trump's leadership? Scroll down to comment below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.